In Buddhism, the three marks of existence are three characteristics Pali, tilakana, Sanskrit, trilaksana of all existence and beings, namely impermanence anicca, unsatisfactoriness or suffering dukkha, and non-self These three characteristics are mentioned in verses 277, 278 and 279 of the Dhammapada. That humans are subject to delusion about the three marks, that this delusion results in suffering, and that removal of that delusion results in the end of suffering, is a central theme in the Buddhist Four Noble Truths and Noble Eightfold Path. Description The three marks are Sab Sankara Anicca. All Sankaras conditioned things are impermanent. Sab Sankara Dukkha. All Sankaras are unsatisfactory. Sab Dhamma Anatta. All Dharmas conditioned or unconditioned things are not self. Explanation Anicca Impermanence Pali anicca, Sanskrit anitya, means that all conditioned things sankara are in a constant state of flux. Buddhism states that all physical and mental events come into being and dissolve. Human life embodies this flux in the aging process, the cycle of repeated birth and death samsara, nothing lasts, and everything decays. This is applicable to all beings and their environs, including beings who are reborn in Deva God and Naraka hell realms. This is in contrast to nirvana, the reality that is nikkha, or knows no change, decay or death. <inaudible> dukkha Dukkha means, "...unsatisfactoriness, suffering, pain." The dukkha includes the physical and mental sufferings that follows each rebirth, aging, illness, dying, dissatisfaction from getting what a being wishes to avoid or not getting the desired, and no satisfaction from sankara dukkha, in which everything is conditioned and conditioning, or because all things are not experienced as impermanent and without any essence. Anatta Anatta Sanskrit anatman refers to the doctrine of non-self, that there is no unchanging, permanent self or soul in living beings and no abiding essence in anything or phenomena, while anicca and dukkha apply to all conditioned phenomena. Sankara, anatta has a wider scope because it applies to all dhamma without conditioned, unconditioned qualification. Thus, nirvana too is a state of without self or anatta. The phrase sab dhamma anatta includes within its scope each skanda aggregate, heap that compose any being, and the belief, I am, is a mark of conceit which must be destroyed to end all dukkha. The anatta doctrine of Buddhism denies that there is anything called a self in any person or anything else, and that a belief in self is a source of dukkha. Some Buddhist traditions and scholars, however, interpret the anatta doctrine to be strictly in regard to the five aggregates rather than a universal truth. Religious studies scholar Alexander Wynne calls anatta a not-self teaching rather than a no-self teaching. Application In Buddhism, ignorance of avidya, or moha, i.e. a failure to grasp directly the three marks of existence is regarded as the first link in the overall process of samsara whereby a being is subject to repeated existences in an endless cycle of suffering. As a consequence, dissolving that ignorance through direct insight into the three marks is said to bring an end to samsara and, as a result, to that suffering dukkha naroda or naroda sakha, as described in the third of the Four Noble Truths. Gautama Buddha taught that all beings conditioned by causes sankara are impermanent anicca and suffering dukkha, and that not-self characterizes all dhammas, meaning there is no I, me, or mine in either the conditioned or the unconditioned .e. nibbana. The teaching of three marks of existence in the Pali Canon is credited to the Buddha. See also Atman Buddhism. Four Dharma Seals Index of Buddhism-related articles Piro Secular Buddhism References 
Sources <inaudible> <inaudible> 